all right everybody welcome to another Vue.js tutorial in which we're gonna see a little shorthand to whatever we have been doing so far with the bind and the on handlers and uh, basically get into two-way data binding as well with Vue.js without actually making use of something internal right so we're gonna do it intuitively how you would do it with just bind and on so let's get into it so first things first let's just see these shorthands of this vbind and von click you can see that it's kind of a long string if you think about it so if you have a very ui complex application which handles a lot of clicks and clacks and all that stuff so it would get really you know it might end up like something like that typos happen all the time and you would be scratching your head searching for you know an error where it happened and all that stuff so um, what Vue did is that it provided you with a shortcut so you can basically omit this whole string and just leave this colon right here make sure you leave it here otherwise it would treat it like a regular HTML attribute and it will actually echo this value instead of like echoing out the variables value right so that is basically the shorthand for the bind one and for on one which is for handling data from the view itself to the view JS you want you're gonna make use of add the red symbol so we're gonna say on click what I'm gonna do and actually not on click for this one I'm gonna say on input right and this event would fire anytime the input is changed so I'm gonna say handle input just like that so here what, what I'm doing is trying to create a two-way data binding just like you know intuitively anyone would create if they know about just about the bind and the on handlers so we have the value with us we have what happens we have control over what happens when the value changes so essentially what we need to do just is basically just go ahead and create this handle input and let's just because we know that view is already passing the event for us we're gonna say this dot input field value is this dot or just even dot target dot value right uh, we can just console log value changed so that we can just you know notice so if i reload this now and write some text you can see that we get value changed and as a matter of fact what we can do is just basically echo it out here as well so that we are perfectly sure that the view view and the data our data are in sync so it's input field and there we go it's save reload and you can see that they are completely in sync they are actually completely in sync and that is that is really awesome isn't it who doesn't love two-way data binding however there is a better way to actually um, do two-way data binding and what it is we're gonna take a look at in the next video real quick so that's all for this one and I'll see you then in the next one wait your mission should you choose to accept it is to become awesome by going at codedown.com and learning various different things among a community of developers this video will end in one second. Good luck.